Joining us tonight, Rochester police and federal agents are currently investigating a Monday morning explosion in the southeast part of the city. And our Camaria Bray spoke with a man whose house was damaged by the incident and uh, she joins us live now with what she's learned tonight. Camaria. Well, Tom and Caitlin, the blast happened at 2.30 a.m. and woke up this southeast Rochester neighborhood. Someone placed an object inside of this tree where it exploded. The man living at this home completely shocked. I was eating oatmeal and I walked out into the living room and then a huge explosion went off outside. And all I seen was a bright orange flash and a loud boom. The man who doesn't want to be identified reflected on the shocking moment that could have ended his life. It shattered his windows, and he says people from five miles away heard the explosion. Send off one hell of a bang, and, and, and there was a lot of pressure behind that. And if you would have noticed the house across the street up in the corner, the top window, that, blow, that blew out because of that, 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 the pressure from it. And that, that's what 40 yards away, you know, 50 yards away up in the top left of the person's house. You know, so and it's just in, in my car, it cracked my rear view mirror. Uh, it popped my, my quarter panel off my car. He says he was able to get a glimpse of the suspect as he left his house. And a neighbor even has surveillance video of the person. Uh, in front of my car, parked his bike, walked up with this device. Uh, about, I don't know, maybe about Yee Vegas or Shota. And then he, he set it by the tree and he lit it and he took off. Hobbling. The man has minor injuries, but hopes police find the person responsible. But I tell you what, that would have killed somebody if it would have been a point, if there wouldn't have been a wall there. Wow. You know, like it was, it was, it was, you could feel the heat, the intensity, the pressure, everything. Like it, was, it burnt part of my face. It doesn't even seem, it seems surreal. It doesn't seem like it really even happened. I mean, as, 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 the, as it goes on, it starts to set in more and more, and it kind of it makes a cold chill down my spine. I don't, I don't even know what to do. Like, I, I like, I've never done anything in my entire life to have anything like that ever be come upon me. Built a bomb, and he's still out there. He's still in Rochester, and, and, and that's the thing that scares me. RPD is still investigating the situation and looking for a suspect. If you have any information, they ask you that you call Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen. Reporting live in Rochester, Kamaria Bray, KTDC News.